if that's what it is, it'll keep a cheat up off of us. You'll never see us. Mm. Right. Right. So let me go back into this relationship, right? Um, I said something in American Pimp that resonated with brothers throughout the country to this day. I said, before you're a pimp, before you're a doctor, you got to be a man. Mm-hmm. Right? So what we're having right now is a lot of males and a few men, men, just a few, because nobody has really said what a man is, right? You, we automatically think when you become 18, you are a man, but that's not so. A man is, so a male is a gender, but a man is a position, right? There are certain things that you have to have to classify you as a as, to classify yourself as a man. Mm-hmm. It is a position that one holds, and if you don't have the qualifications to hold to position, you just a male. So what's happened now? All these males have entered into relationships with said women, and has affected the women. And now the women have a point of reference to these males and have never really experienced what a man is. Mm. A man is not deceitful. He is not underhanded. The one thing I learned out the game is that for me to have to lie to somebody to get them or for them to be with me made me less than who I said I was. So I'm going to tell her her up front. I'm not monogamous. I might have a few. To give her the decision to decide whether she want to deal with me or not. Right. Mm -hmm. And she will respect me. Because I'm just honest enough to say, listen, this is just what it is, right? Instead of lying about it mm-hmm. and then her finding out three, four months down the road and now I'm de- she, uh, she feels I'm deceitful and then she's mad, I'm a dog. And now you have all women saying that men are dogs because she never was with a man. Right. She was with a male. Right. So yeah, I just want to clarify that. Right. That's agreed. You but uh, but I, I also think she needs to date the lie she believes in too. Make sure you expand on that because I, I don't believe this that. Is important I don't believe because, that because you're taking you the pressure. They have to go through it. No, because I, I, I think relationship is a mirror. I want him to explain what he means. I think yeah. relationship is a mirror, spiritual mirror. You get what you are. You attract who you are. You attract your level of consciousness. And if you sit down and ask a person who is self-abusive, maybe you haven't dealt with this trauma that came out your home, right? It was Carl Jung who once said. The subconscious is all your hurts buried, and it's trying to work its way to your conscious to resolve itself through conflict in relationship. So sometimes you get the buster because you're a beacon for busters, and they're offering you an opportunity to see yourself as you are. So you can't take the spiritual element out of it either. Relationship is a mirror. And a lot of times we let women off the hook by saying, brother, you got to be something that is a paragon while she gets to be mediocre. No, you are getting your reflection. You are getting a lesson. And if you keep going back to the same kind of dude, which a lot of women do, sit down and ask women, how often do you ignore your intuition Mm -hmm. and how your intuition is connected to his intention? Not his behavior. See, most women, if you sit them down and say, what speaks louder? Words or behavior? They'll say behavior. But what speaks louder than behavior is a man's intention. Mm -hmm. And most women, that intuition will say, yeah, he did everything right. He said everything right. He paid for the meal. He provided. He did it. But something's off. And then a lot of times women will ignore that. So that means they're a co-creator in the bullshit they said they didn't want in the first place. So you have to keep that spiritual element in the relationship. I'm That's deep. I want to give everybody a chance to, to say what they got to say. Do you want it to say something? No, no, no. Please. Okay. <laughs> I, want I, I, want, I want everybody <laughs> to... I'm coming no, this from good stuff. a whole different perspective because... Well, let's hear it, brother, because we definitely Listen, want to Listen, coming it. out... Yeah. Let, I don't want to belabor the point, but... No, coming, we good. Coming out the game, you know, I'm so empowered about who I am as a man... Mm-hmm. That I feel that any woman, whatever her conditions are, whatever her shortcomings are, Mm -hmm. that I'm able to empower any woman Mm -hmm. that deals with me as a man to raise her up out of whatever. If I'm interested in her enough, right, Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at what she got this, that, and the other. I'm looking at my ability as a man because I've done it before. Right, over and over and over again. But, but look, look, Dre, I, I, I got to ask you this. I agree with him. (laughs) I agree with that. Any woman, that's what I'm saying. 
everybody can't be saved. My they, okay, this is my opinion. Well, 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 what I see that. on this planet, unpack being saved. <laughs> unpack yeah. that. What do you mean by that? Unpack that. Okay, being saved, being taken out of the condition they in. There are some people, men and women, who really they want to be who they are. They don't want you to take them up no. out of mm. where they are. And, there's that. and yeah. if you got common sense, eventually you realize this motherfucker don't want to be what I'm talking about. Don't you think that exists? Listen, bro. but I, I agree with the point. I agree Listen. with the point Gorgeous George made. Yeah. Let me let me, Dre, let me Dre, get, Gorgeous yeah. George. Go, uh, Dre. Gorgeous Dre, sorry. Yeah. I, I agree with that point he just made. <laughs> he made two points. The, the last one was if I'm in my truth, I can pull her up out of that. I agree with that. I agree with the point before too, which is uh male versus man. See if we drive up to Pasadena right now, to the foothills, that mountain doesn't need us to define what it is. We know what it is off rip. Mm -hmm. The truth doesn't need a definition. And true masculinity doesn't either. Mm. It is what it is. When you see it, when you know it, when you interact with it, it's okay, that's what it is. A lot of times you find a lot of men trying to expound on what it is to be a man. Oh, you don't have to do that. Right. You just be what you are. Period. And a lot of times, there's a lot of dudes out there that will go accumulate shit. When you say accumulate shit, what you mean? It could be cars. It could be diamonds. Okay. It could be jewels. You know what I'm saying? Right. They try That's to you, they try to get the masculine accoutrement. Let me mm -hmm. put this shit on. That nigga said accoutrement. Right? Well, Let me put know, this you shit know, on. You know what, though? That I, ain't I, it. I, I, you know, I, I respectfully disagree and here's why. Because what do you disagree with? with that I, I, as sure. far as like manhood not having to be defined. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you something, bro. If it was defined, we wouldn't have all of these fucking crooked planes landing everywhere. It wouldn't be like it is because we didn't define what it is and we didn't uphold the standard. Mm -hmm. We didn't let it be known. This is what it is and this is the standard, bro. You got to let people know. If, if nobody, every standard must be Every standard must be pronounced. Mm -hmm. if, 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 you know, coming in this studio, you know, this, this show, mm -hmm. 5150 show right. is a standard. Anybody come in here and try to go under that standard, it ain't going to work. Right. If you don't meet the standard, you don't meet the standard, right. it ain't going to work. If you're in a workplace, mm -hmm. you go in a workplace, you know, uh, there's a standard. And if you don't meet that standard, you're probably not going to be that long. Right. Even when you were in the game, you had a certain standard for women. Right. If the women could not meet that standard, they, they wasn't going to be on the team long, you see? Right. So manhood, manhood has a standard. Right. And we have to define it. It's up to the men to define it. We thought, I personally thought for that, what do you, they know what man, what it is to be a man. I mean, you got to define that. I mean, you grow up and you do the right thing. You be responsible. You know, you, you stand, you, you know, you stand by your word. You mm -hmm. know, uh, you take care of your responsibility, your children. That's a man. You know, like I ain't, everybody ought to know that. Right. They don't know that. Mm. They've got niggas running around here in dresses and shit and wigs and titties and shit. And they saying <laughs> that's a man. <laughs> no, dog. It don't work like that. that. It don't work like that. We got to define what it is because we sat back and we've allowed these wicked ass people out here to control the narrative for right. us. And we let them define it. You see what happened when they defined it. Right. Yeah. It's, so, not, a, it's not enough just to define. It. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. That's not enough. Right. We need to live it in exactly. front of. Exactly. Right? The define is not enough. It has exactly. to be something that must be lived in front of. My father lived manhood in front of me. Right. Yeah. Right? It needs to be lived. So a lot of people have been defining manhood for hundreds of years. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been defining it in our communities. Right. But that ain't been lived in front of nobody. Right. Well, I, I think, when, I think when you, I when I, you know, I think when I say it, you know, define it, I think it's, it goes without saying that it's, it's part of the action. But right. again, you know, no, it's you got to say that. Yeah. You got to actually yeah. say it. Yeah. Because yeah. there's some slow pokes out there yeah. for real, yeah. bro. You would, yeah. you would think that, you know, what well, that, well, that's understood. You know, like what's understood ain't got to be said, right? And that's why I'm glad we all saying this. Exactly. Yeah. Because there are people who get lost. Yeah. Right. And they don't want to be lost. But yeah. by y'all saying what you're saying, you helping them follow what's happening. So and, I'm loving and, and this. And they're both right. They're both right. Again, the problem with a lot of the definitions is they get concretized. 
In other words, they get mm -hmm. inflexible. Right. Yes, you're a man, and there's some basic principles about manhood. Mm -hmm. But those principles have to be scalable. Those principles have to grow as you grow. So in other words, they have to be pliability and flexibility in the standards that you create for yourself as a man. As you grow, you should be able to recontextualize what manhood is as you grow. Because you can build it on one level of consciousness and say, yo, I'm a man right here. But then as you begin to build yourself up in the world, your mind, your spirit, your understanding, your as diet, you grow. You grow. now you're going to have to recontextualize what a man is. Societally speaking, men used to be a motherfucker who can go down there and build a log cabin. Niggas ain't building log cabins today. Fast forward to the 50s. A man is somebody that can take a motherfucking carburetor apart and put that bitch back together. Tires, right. you, you get what I'm saying? Right. These things are changing. So what is a man as it pertains to today? Can somebody answer that? Uh, bro, uh, I hear what you're trying to say or what you're saying, but... Uh, Dre, you got you got to speak in that mic. Yes, the mic. standard it don't of change, man bro. is don't change, man. It don't change. It ain't fluctuating with nothing. That's why I just Listen, said there's man, a fundamental father, thing that is manhood. But I'm talking about what men are called to be in this society and what they are defined as. It still don't change. Yeah. So again, yeah. from the beginning of time. So so no response. so response, when right. I was I when hear. when 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 my father was living in front of me with manhood. And explaining as he was living that a man is never to be deceitful, keep his word, mm -hmm. a man of principles, honor, and integrity. Yes. So when I was facing that life prison sentence in the feds, mm -hmm. and I stood up and, uh, and didn't never tell nobody, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, was willing to do the time, mm -hmm. that's manhood. Yeah. Right? You took responsibility. That's okay. that's uh, manhood. Okay. We agree. Uh, no, when, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm what, sorry. What you want to say? No, I, I wanted to. I'm just giving examples and circumstances because today, the the youngsters today don't understand that idea of what manhood is. This is why we live in a in a time within our communities where it's the greatest high treason that we've ever encountered, mm -hmm. as far as people being having some integrity to their word out there doing what they're doing in the streets and all that, and in relationships, and in relationships, right? right? So all this plays an incredible part. You know what I'm saying? So to me, if I give my word about something, right? Say I'm talking to my wife mm -hmm. or before she was my wife. I'm not going to just tell her I'm a man. I'm going to live some things in front of her. Then I'm going to let her identify that that's what a man is. Because of her mm -hmm. point of references of dealing with males before. And so the reason why, let me just go back into this. The reason why it makes my relationship so much easier because I'm doing the work first. Right, and then once I do the work first, and she can identify. <laughs> now this looks different than what I was dealing yeah, with. Yeah. Right now, that puts more pressure on her now, right? Because I don't live this, so now I can apply more pressure for her to be everything she is because I've lived it in front of you first. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I, no, I, I'm not I waiting totally for her to be yeah, a woman. I, I, Some, let me yeah. tell you this, because I used to life coach people, and dude, and I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go with this one, but I'm gonna say. Dudes used to, first thing they say to me is, I want to be a man. And if my girl would have did this, then I would have did that. I said, man, don't you ever say mm -mm. that to me mm -mm. again. Mm -mm. He said, why are you tripping, Dave? <laughs> I said, because what you're really saying is that <laughs> in order for you to be a man, yeah. you need her to be a woman. <laughs> You, know, you got to be a man, period. Come on, where you go to? Yeah. You know what tripped me out a lot, man? I'm glad you said that. What tripped me out a lot is when I hear dudes say, you know, you got to let me be a man. You know, oh, like, oh, right. Hey, let me be a man. No. You need, well, your women need you. You need to let your man be a man. See, man, there ain't a woman made a woman that can let me be a At man. All. Right, I'm a right, man right. all on my own. Yes. My, yeah, my bone yeah. virtue. I am yeah. a man. Right. It's, right. But they trust me out when when dude when I hear dudes saying that. That's hey, funny, yeah. Let me be a man. Right. <laughs> they, they ask him. Like she in the way of that. Right. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> That's right. right. No, we agree with all of that. All of that is good. All of that is good. I'm just talking about how society has become transactional. And men have been reduced. There are a lot of women out there that'll throw out integrity, that'll throw out honesty. Just as long as you provide and protect. 
You got to agree 100%. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? So it's, I don't disagree with yeah. what you're saying. You're talking about pillars. But it's not pillars. predicated on her. We, I know that. None of that. Is, I don't care what she said. But you're talking about pillars of manhood that I think where this conversation should go is how we transfer that as generational knowledge to kids. You live in front of To young them. boys. You live in front of you, them. We got to mm-hmm. pull. I'm talking about mass across the nation. You live it in front of them. There Mm -hmm. is nothing more profound than a person seeing you live something and then you tell them what you live in instead of you doing this all the time to them and Mm -hmm. you ain't living nothing in front of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it, man. I can smoke a bag. That's it. We go. We going home now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, and let me just. I lived it in front of my son. I come up with shit to say because yeah. I, well, ever since, ever since I knew yeah. you yeah. and Willie and Zoe, yeah. you know, it. was gonna be all on the same table I together. Like, yeah. I, I thought of stuff, and I have to have the courage to say stuff that. Like you said, putting in the work beforehand, I feel like you know me enough, Willie know me enough, Zoe know me enough, where I can ask questions like this. Yeah. Let's take, for example, Brother Dre. You had a little drama with the, with the, with, with the system. You having drama with the system, how does that interfere with all of the things you were taught coming up, having a dad who is a man of principle? You get what I'm saying? Unpack what? that. What do you mean me having a problem with the system? Oh, you get What do you mean? What do you, you mean interfering? No, I, I guess what I'm trying to say when you had when you got locked up. Yeah. Whatever led to that. Yeah. What what were the principles gone astray for a while or something? What happened? Because there's a lot of people don't know what happened. It, I know you. Well, they've seen know what American Pimp. They know what happened. No, but are you saying because he had a dad? No, I'm saying he's been he, he was brought up in a way where you have knowledge. I know you, I know you're not yeah. stupid. Right. I'm right. saying how did you get to the point where you went this there. jail drama was in your life? Oh, how did I get into the game? What, what led me that direction? Okay, well, is, is, just, is, it, is the answer just the game? No, I'm just saying you're saying how I'm trying to figure out I, I don't clear I don't I'm gonna try to make it as clear as I can. Make it cause you you had you had a situation where you was in jail. Yeah. A man as intelligent as you. Yeah. Because there's a lot of intelligent people who are out here doing things that's going to get them in trouble. They yeah. might not be in trouble yet. Yeah, yeah. So a man who's intelligent as you, how did you find yourself in, in that situation? situation knowing everything you know? Well, my intelligence don't have nothing to do with the numbers game. If you stay doing some illegal stuff for a long period of time, that the percentage that you're going to yeah. catch up with you. Yeah. Right. I don't care who you are, how bright you are. Look, some of them. Brilliant, uh, Meyer Lansky is one of the most brilliant uh, uh, minds and uh, gangster back in the day. But at that's what I'm point, trying to bring if around. If you keep doing some wrong stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's bound to happen. Then it's bound to happen. Mm-hmm. So it's you know, not I just. Got, it's not it, just. And it could be on a fluke, like mine was. It could be right. on a fluke. You know what I'm saying? When you say the, a fluke, what you mean? By happenstance, like I didn't do nothing really out of the, out of the, out of pocket to put myself in a situation. It was a fluke by some something else coming into the situation. Yeah. Okay. Like I was helping one of my girl's friends, and from that situation, that brought police into my house. Like when my man wore a mm-hmm. big fur coat at the um, something to that at the basketball oh, game, yeah. mm-hmm. something like that. Uh, I get what Frank you're Lucas. saying. Rest right. in peace. He just mm-hmm. died. Yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. But that's not the point. The point fight. is the that point. Was? So a heavyweight boxing match. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a boxing match. I'm the sorry. point you is know, this. Boxing is my game. You know. However life befalls you, <laughs> my dad used to say to me, I always used to watch the juggler, but I always wanted to see what he'd do when he dropped the ball. So my father told me that life is going to happen. And then when life happens to you, you make sure you stay being who you say you were as a man. Mm. So it didn't matter the situation that happened. Mm. When, I'm, when you're on the street, you better be sold out to doing what you're doing. Because you're going to get ran over if you're not. So I was sold out at that time when I was in the game. Sold for the lame, out for, 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 for the, in layman's terms, when you say sold out, you mean committed to it. I was committed to the pimp game when I was doing it. Mm-hmm. Right. Sold out. Right. Got to be the biggest guy in the game at the time that I was doing it. Yeah, it is. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. My case was the first time the federal government and the, and the uh, state of Nevada came together to prosecute a pimp case. Huh. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when the situation happened to me, then I had to show up, which I said in American Pimp. People saw it. Ain't no sense you crying right now. Right. Just because they brought me, this is what I said in the movie. Just because they brought me to jail ain't going to stop me from being the man that I am. I was already determined 
to do whatever it was I was going to do, mm. but I was going to keep my manhood because my daddy had preached it so much and lived it, the value of manhood. So it was so valuable to me that I was going to do that life sentence with my manhood. Right. I get what, what I'm you're saying? saying. I get yeah. what you're saying. And I'm glad you brought that up because I'm telling you, man, just like we were talking about earlier, there are so many people who are stuck, but when they hear certain people say things, it makes it clear for them. Mm-hmm. Right. It makes it clear. Mm-hmm. They, they don't get to hear people say stuff like that right. or to hear stuff you saying, mm-hmm. Willie D or, or, or Zoe. Hearing it from different perspectives, too. Right. There yeah. are people out here who are looking for the light, and the light can come out of your mouth just by talking for five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some yeah. shit that make a motherfucker never go back to what he was doing because he heard something that confirmed. Mm. Right. God damn it. Really? I knew it. Yeah. This is how I'm supposed to be. Right. Yeah. In this situation. And anybody trying to pimp out there right now is craziest in the world. Anybody because the law trying to pimp today, oh. you the stupidest person in the whole world. Oh, because oh, now oh, they're giving oh, you 100 oh, years. On an app. In 300 <laughs> years. Yeah. Say that again. You know what I'm saying? Who did not because know some that. dude just asked, what do you think about pimping? I don't advise this for my worst enemy. That's mm-hmm. what I think about it. Mm-hmm. Thank God I'm out of it. You know, an- another thing, like touching on what you were saying about, you know, uh, you know, how do you, you know, have that information and that leadership like he had and then get caught up like that. Mm-hmm. You know, temptation uh, needs doesn't need to be managed. You know what I'm saying? Like intelligence you. needs to be managed. Mm-hmm. You know, you when you're intelligent, you know, you're constantly learning and you're constantly like thinking. With you don't have to think with temptation. It's like I hear something, it sounds good, whoo, mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. You know, that's temptation. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be managed. So that's why somebody can be as intelligent as Dre. Mm-hmm. Or even myself mm-hmm. and get caught up, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, doing, I know about doing, temptation. Doing, doing something, you know what I'm saying, that right. we know that we shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. But the temptation. <laughs> you Do know, you ever master temptation? Uh, well, we I, I, don't, I, I think you, I think you, yeah. I think you, that's why I say. I think it's it levels needs, to it. That's why I say it don't need to be managed because mm-hmm. you can't, ma- I don't mm-hmm. think that you master temptation. Like right. you I think you always, it's a constant. in fact, if mm-hmm. you can master temptation, I mean, you might as well, I mean, you'd be a model. I mean, it's impossible. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you'd be a model. You'd be a true. I don't think you can master temptation, but, you know, it's, but it's, it's one of those things that I think that, that, that you can, you know, I, I, I know as far as a man, you know, it's 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 two things that a, a man really really has to learn to master, and that is, you know, number one, you know, a man has to has to be able to control. He has to be able to con- to control his emotions, and he has to be able to control. Excuse my French and part my vernacular, but his dick. You know, you have to yeah. you have to be able to do that. As a man, and and men who have grown and, and have reached a certain standard in life mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. understand it, they know exactly what I'm talking about, and they mm-hmm. can do it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Anger, but, but, but anger no, can absolutely. you live anger out of that? Anger. Well, that's what I mean. That comes. That comes with the emotion. Fifty one fifty skin presents the entanglement kit. When you get that call to stop over from that special person who ain't tripping on social distancing in no way. We have prepared for you the Entanglement Kit. It is all the products you need to leave the presence of the side chick or ladies, the guy whose family you don't know for reals, in a clean manner. No more not prepared to wash up days for you fellas and ladies. No more leaking unnecessarily as you drive home to your loved ones. The Entanglement Kit will be on deck in your car or backpack or even your Gucci bag, ladies, to get you presentable for the next soul you encounter. Also, all products in the Entanglement Kit are plant-based. No more harsh chemicals on your body creating cancers and bumps that stop folks from being happy about giving you head. So what are you waiting for? Order your Entanglement Kit today. Come home clean to the fools that believe in you. Everyone deserves that. Entanglement Kit, so you're clean and shit. Wash up, Jada, you bitch.